One of the things that can help women as far as their sexuality and how they feel about themselves um, during and after treatment is support groups. All women, um, I think, have issues with their sexuality during that time. Your body has changed. You know, there's no way around that. Um, and so to be able to talk to other women about how they're feeling sexually and, and just their whole self-esteem, um, you know, what their bodies look like, um, sharing um, the war stories, you know, not having any pubic hair, not having any hair, period, um, you know, and how that makes them feel sexually is extremely important. If a woman feels that she is very depressed and she's not sleeping, she's not eating, um, she's feeling suicidal, it would probably be important for her to be able to seek out the help of a psychotherapist. That, um, you know, is a whole different level of help. And sometimes, too, you know, women may not feel comfortable in talking about sexual issues with another group of women. And so being able to have the help of a professional can help them through that time, not only for yourself, but if you have a partner that, you know, it may be helpful to have couples therapy, um, you know, because your partner, you know, is going through a lot too during those times about sexuality. Um, because all of a sudden the person that they're with is not the same person physically and emotionally, they may not understand what she's going through right now. And a therapist can help in that sense in terms of being able to, you know, be that third party, being able to help them open up that communication, that di dialogue that they may be having such a hard time with and normalizing the experience for them. In approaching your doctor about sexual issues, the first thing to remember um, is that your doctor hears everything. When women come to see me, I remind them of that. I've been doing this for 33 years. There is probably nothing that I haven't heard in my 33 years. You know, and your doctor's the same way. Your doctor hears everything. And so, you know, you're not going to say anything that's going to shock him or her. Um, and, you know, their role is there to help you. And, you know, if they can't help, they're going to send you to somebody who can help.